Welcome to History Inside a Nutshell, the show where we sail into our port of call discussing maritime history. The SS Norm Maddox Surviving Lifeboats Considered as the last surviving White Star vessel to exist, the SS Normadic is now a popular tourist attraction where she rests at the Hamilton Dock outside the Titanic Belfast Museum. However, did you know that the Normadic had lifeboats and know the story of what happened to them? There is a full video on the life and career of the SS Normadic on the channel already and a link will be left in the cards above. It is recommended to watch that video before returning to this one. Now that we've got that out of the way and for those who have seen the SS Normadic's video, we will begin. The story of the Normadic's lifeboats began when, between 1910 and 1911, they were constructed or supervised by Harland and Wolfe's chief draftsman, Roderick Chisholm. There is a mystery behind them, but, like the RMS Titanic, the Normadic's lifeboats were likely built by Scottish boat builders, McAllister and Son. The lifeboats were a traditional linker-built, planks overlapping and secured by copper rivets and built to a cutter plane similar style to the two cutter lifeboats on the RMS Titanic but slightly smaller at 20 feet in length or 6.1 metres and 37 feet wide. She would have had the capacity to carry 28 people. In total, they would have served up to 1,200 passengers and crew if there was an emergency. The Normadic's lifeboats would have been placed on board before her sea trials, which took place on the 16th of May 1911. There's little record of when they would have been used, but they would have likely been used in both wars and when the Normadic was transferred to the Cunard Line, where she began as a tender ship for the RMS Queen Mary and the RMS Queen Elizabeth, serving them from the late 1930s until the Normadic's retirement in November 1968. When the Normadic moved to Paris, the lifeboats were removed from the tender ship, where they laid onto the quarry side opposite the tender ship for 13 years. In its 13th year, both lifeboats were vandalised when their pieces were stolen, including the lifeboat's nameplate. In 1987, a deal had been made with the Le Museum Maritime Chantenier at Cherbourg when the lifeboats were on loan. However, the weight of the lifeboats had collapsed and the wood was rotting as a result of being left outdoors. Today, only Lifeboat 2 is the only lifeboat to exist. Because of the damage that the outdoors had caused, Lifeboat number 1 was burnt in the late 1990s. Lifeboat number 2 then disappeared from history until 2007, when it was found on eBay, where she was advertised on the site as a cabin cruiser. When the lifeboat was inspected by an events manager, where it was found lying in an English hedgerow believed to be in the city of Liverpool. It was later identified through a series of pictures that were taken during the SS Normadic's time at sea. Upon the lifeboat's discovery, Work had begun on restoring lifeboat number two, where people replaced missing timbers, adding a new keel and refabricating missing parts. When the lifeboat was nearing completion, no museums wanted to display it until, in 2017, SS Normadic's remaining lifeboat was put on display on board the Queen Mary, where it rests in Long Beach, California. In 2022, Lifeboat 2 was transported back to Belfast and in September of 2023, it was put on display alongside the SS Normadic at the Belfast Maritime Festival. 
Until 2016, it was thought that lifeboat number two was the last remaining White Star Line lifeboat until the discovery of lifeboat number six from the RMS Oceanic. There will be a future video covering the RMS Oceanic's lifeboat. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, this has been History Inside a Nutshell, departing from the dogs. Thank you so much for all of your support and enjoy the rest of your voyage.